This is Cedar Creek Lake. So uh, this was a tornado over Cedar Creek. Actually, when it's on the lake, it's a water spout, but uh, that's fine. Brandy Klein tweeted me that. And look at this. This is where kind of it all began, the origination of it uh, right there. So that's over Cedar Creek. And then uh, you head between Maybank and Kemp. Look at that. This is the same one that moved in Canton. Yeah. So, but this is uh, once when it crossed 175, that's when 175 got shut down because they had power lines down, trees were down, they had some debris on uh, on US 175, so some problems there. And then you head off to the northeast a little bit more. This is kind of in part of the life cycle of the tornado. Dano tweeted me this uh, video right here. I found this next in this last video uh, pretty unique. This is 198 outside of Canton. And is this the one, guys, where we see kind of the, the two funnel clouds? This is not, this is not the video, but uh, yeah, you can see right there. Look at that supercell. I mean, my gosh, so uh, Jennifer Rowe, my thanks to Jennifer, everyone that sent us videos tonight, and you can clearly see the funnel right there and uh, some problems tonight and uh, no doubt about it. So why was today so tornadic? You know, we've had a lot of thunderstorms this spring. We're certainly uh, one of the wettest Mays on record, the top 25 wettest Mays on record. But but why weren't those other times tornadic? Well, tonight we had that triggering mechanism. We had that uh, ample instability. We had the wind shear all in place today. So all the ingredients were there and the storms happened later in the day, closer to the peak heating. You know, most of the storms we've had so far this year, they've happened, you know, late, late at night, four, five, six o'clock in the morning into the early morning hours of the day are the cool of the day. But today they happen close to the peak heating time of day and the storms were more isolated. Instead of just a big line of storms moving through, they were individual thunderstorms. And when you have those individual ones that break out in advance, of the line of storms, those are the supercells typically, and those are the ones that turn tornadic. So all the ingredients were in place today. Everything unfortunately just panned out, and that's what we had. We had 10 tornado warnings today uh, in the Dallas Fort Worth area and in East Texas, the WFA viewing area. Right now, from Mount Pleasant down to Canton and Athens, rain still falling in Canton, but it's not severe right now. That's good news. This will continue to shift off to the east as tonight moves along. There's a late season cold front. That cold front moves away. We start tomorrow with a good deal of cloud cover in place across North Texas, and uh, we finally see some sunshine tomorrow afternoon. So for tonight, it'll be a pretty cloudy night tonight. The rain slowly ends. That's currently falling in East Texas. That's not severe, and that's good news. 66 is the low tonight. We start tomorrow with clouds and then the clouds decrease by late morning and the sun comes out in the afternoon. The humidity will be lower tomorrow. A pretty nice day. Morning clouds, afternoon sun. The high tomorrow is 85 and then the next 10 days. There we are, and it's kind of a, 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 a summertime weather pattern. We don't necessarily have the heat. It will be warm. It will be humid. We'll have some isolated thunderstorms each and every afternoon. 20, 30 percent of us see thunderstorms beginning Friday. June begins on Saturday, and then all of next week, just that afternoon pop-up variety. And tonight, Dale, I appreciate this tweet you sent me. Look at the tweet Dale sent me. He calls himself at Browns 33. He said, thanks for not showing the world news to cover a storm outside of the DFW viewing area. So in in the WFA viewing area, there are 33 counties that we're responsible for. So the next time we have multiple tornadoes on the ground, Dale, if it's not in the four main yeah. counties, Dallas, Tarrant, Denton, and Collin County, I'll just ignore those people. Well, so I, you can I, watch yeah, yeah. so you can watch World News tomorrow. Well, I, 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 I've never denied. I've got a crush on David Muir. Do you uh, really? And if I don't get my David Muir fix every day, Pete, I, I, I fire off tweets. Get a little crabby. Uh, I, I get a little picky in the afternoon. <laughs> and, uh, I want my David Muir. All right.